It doesn't get any more tension-packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup Final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players a chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And now they get the ball rolling. Really good challenge. Well, France are the holders. Not too many people doubted them coming into the tournament. And quite frankly, they've rubber-stamped their credentials. So what a top. Can they stop it going in? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. I mean, let's face it, when Messi is on the pitch, you cannot take your eyes off him. What do you think he'll offer in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. McAllister. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, no way through. Alexis McAllister. Marcos Acuna. Turning inside, where's he going to go? And a blunder by the keeper, and it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup Final. One to Saber. Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. And the 
ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Griezmann. Rabiot. Mbappe with it. Now Griezmann. I must say this looks promising. Now this could be productive. Well then there to tidy up. Now well Molina. Alvarez. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Will he find the net? Oh, that! And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. A chance to extend the lead. And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. And he has options available. Lionel Messi. Messi! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so clearly, he hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. Goal. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Griezmann. Here's Alvarez. Messi. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Argentina have certainly had more of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Good pressure high up the pitch. Griezmann. Hernandez. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? He has teammates around him. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match.
Is it going to be 4-0? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick! A special moment for him! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. restart the game it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge Messi. Teo Hernandez into the advanced position Griezmann now with Coman can he take advantage oh he couldn't outwit the keeper and it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Whipped in by Griezmann, and steered back under a bit of pressure. Getting forward. Oh, he's through here. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And with play stop, they will make the change now. And the short option preferred. Not a poor ball, and easy for the keeper. Did well to win the ball back. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Messi. Very quick thinking there. Twenty minutes to go. This attack looks highly promising. Oh, a vital interception. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Messi. Marcos Acuna, and it might be, oh, a smart stop. <laughs> Taken short. Lionel Messi. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. foul play and as a result a free kick forthcoming
Coman. Efficient play to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to get there. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again. Coman's cross really does invite somebody to attack it. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Number seven, Antoine Griezmann. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. The supporters want to see him have a go. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Number 22, And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coach and staff and, of course, the fans.